hey guys welcome back to my channel natural soul care i'm so happy to have you guys joining in back with me and if you're visiting my channel for the first time please join the fam subscribe share with your friends and family as well and catch up with my other videos it is the end of the three month growth challenge and i hope you guys have seen some growth purpose of the challenge was for you guys to develop that habit of taking care of your hair and also length retention so now we're going to go in the meat of the matter so i want us to continue on that journey i'm thinking about whether i should start the new challenge in december because remember that i mentioned that i have another challenge coming up for you guys i'm back and i'm coming back with a new challenge something i've never done before so stay tuned for that so right now i'm wondering whether i should continue now or should we just start afresh in the coming year let me know in the comment section below okay i think that we should make it a six month challenge starting in january let me know in the comment section if you guys want us to start in january or i want us to start in december and so the purpose of today's video is to actually give you guys some herbs that you can incorporate in your hair regimen so that you can definitely see the growth for the challenge if you want to hear more about that keep on watching Okay guys so this new challenge that we are going to do so the previous one we focus on length retention but this one we're going to focus more on growth the previous one was yes still growth but was more for you guys to develop that kind of habit because remember we i mentioned that it takes 21 days to develop a habit and so now as you guys have developed this habit now we can go ahead and add extra things i didn't want to overwhelm you guys with too much things but no is the meat of the matter we are going down to the nitty-gritty right now all right so i'm going to list some jamaican herbs that you guys can incorporate in your regiment all right so if you're not from jamaica and you're watching this video these herbs are also in the us so don't worry so the other day someone texted me and was asking me for some more diy tips i realized that most of you guys really appreciated the quarantine diy um wash day video so if you haven't seen that video click right here and you can go ahead and watch that video since i have planned to do this of introducing herbs here in jamaica i know that you guys are diy persons you just want to go in your backyard get something that can help with your hair fine with that and for those who are not that type of diy person they're also products on the market that have these different ingredients in their products so you guys can definitely just go and just grab these things off the shelf we are going hard this time we are going hard this time because what we say growth for 2021 so giving you guys a month break just to grab all the things that you need if you need to call up a friend and say hey you have any aloe vera in your backyard beg your one you can have the time to call up your friend so that you can have all of these ingredients you will have enough time to source it because i remember when i started to do intensive research on these things i posted on my status anyone have any hibiscus trees anyone have any that enough of the chatting let's get right into today's video so the first herb that we're going to look at is rosemary and so i think this video is going to be maybe a part one part two video because i don't like to make my videos too long um so it might be a part two because i definitely need to mention some spices that we use in our everyday meal that we can also incorporate well most of the things that i'm going to mention are also spices for example rosemary the first thing i'm going to talk about it is a herb but it's also a spice some persons love to cook rosemary they love the flavor that rosemary brings but rosemary is also good for here and guess what guys i've been downtown i shop downtown kingston um coronation market and you can find vendors selling rosemary 50 dollar bag and that's enough because sometimes i just bring it home and just let it dry and that would just allow it to stay longer so i get more out of it all of these herbs are very them cheap and some of we have friends we grow them and we are getting it for free so all right enough of the chatting rosemary has antimicrobial and antiseptic 
properties it promotes circulation that aids in growth and we all know that increased blood circulation to the scalp increase hair growth our hair follicles are getting all that wonderful nutrients that it needs because the blood is just flowing up there and so it will grow it is moisturizing it's going to help with our dry scalp right and it's gonna help with the itchy scalp as well so that is a plus plus guys and it helps with flaky scalp and flaky scalp normally obstruct growth so you don't know say enough growth i'll give it so right so for my american friends who are watching my videos and shout out to you guys i really appreciate the support um what i mean is that it's a bonus for us it also helps with hair loss thinning and balding and so for those of you who are who started graying up it also it helps with gray hair so how to incorporate rosemary in your regimen so now you guys can actually get the rosemary plant you can boil it allow it to cool use it as a hair rinse so what is a hair rinse so a hair rinse so you can probably say hair tea rinse there's two ways of doing it one you can either spray it in your hair and then you can put your plastic cap over your hair and it can allow it to steam and it would just best it's best if you put it in your hair and then put the deep condition on top of it that's like a win-win and allow it to steam or after you finish washing your hair you can throw it in your hair or spray it in your hair massage it in your scalp and just follow up with your leave-in so you don't have to wash it out and normally i would recommend rosemary for mothers who are going through post part time shedding so it does help with that another way of using rosemary is that you can buy the essential oil it's a very concentrated form of it put it in your shampoo and shampoo your hair and give you that nice soothing feeling as well it's good for your um your self-care sunday if you're someone who wash your hair on sunday it does just a nice relaxation um, you can apply it to your carrier oil such as your olive oil and your other rest of favorite oils and you can use it as your own DIY growth oil as well. So for the DIY person, I hope you're taking notes. Last but not least, you can apply it to your deep conditioner. So if you have a deep conditioner, you don't see rosemary in the ingredient section, you can use it. Okay, truck so <laughs> if you um if you have a deep conditioner and you don't see rosemary in the ingredient section you can use the essential oil put two drop of it in it or as i mentioned earlier you can use a hair tea rinse where you boil the rosemary all the way to school spray it in your hair and apply a deep conditioner and you can also use it as a refresher spray the other thing that i'm going to mention is peppermint and peppermint we know that in jamaica we love to use peppermint when we're feeling bad right and so peppermint is also an antiseptic as well it heal peppermint is like the healing of the scalp right it helps with irritated scalp dandruff dry scalp it stimulates hair follicles so it promotes hair growth it is antifungal anti-inflammatory so if you have sores in your scalp it can help with that i won't mention how to use peppermint because the same thing that i mentioned for rosemary goes for peppermint as well so we're going to move over to aloe vera and that's like one of the number one plants right now in the natural hair community a lot of brands use aloe vera in their products if you guys watch my diy um, quarantine video i've used it for my twist out i just use some butter to seal it all in it's really like i think it's a show of the natural hair hair care regimen to be honest so what aloe vera does is that it can restore the ph balance of the scalp which aids in hair growth because the scalp have a nice environment right so when we have a nice so it's the same thing in human when you have a nice environment you can see growth Whereas in our Christian walk, we need to have the right company around us so we can experience spiritual growth. And it's the same thing now with the hair. The hair needs the right environment to grow. Can I get an amen? Alrighty. So aloe vera is very hydrating. And that's why it's a star of the natural hair community. Because we need the moisture. Okay, guys? We need the moisture for our hair to strive and to grow. So it's very hydrating. It helps to prevent breakage as a result. So as I said before, I know you guys can always hear me saying this. Moisturize hair, no breakage. 
right and it helps with hair loss and alopecia it's another thing that i want to mention um that aloe vera does it helps to clean the scalp so for those of you guys who have your protective styles in so for the growth challenge so it's gonna be six months i know that some of you guys are going to incorporate protective style i think i'm going to start off with a protective style i'm going to definitely be, be doing more protective style next year as well so what you can do is to get your aloe vera plants and then you can just put it in your scalp just to clean the scalp so like for example i don't like to wash my hair in braids too often or too fast so like if i braid my hair today i want it to have two weeks good and then i will wash my hair after because after when you wash your hair the reality is that the braid probably ramp up or pull up for those of my american friends your hair is going to pull up and it's going to look like you have the braids in for like over a month so for what i plan to do is to go in with my aloe vera i'm going off track but another thing that you guys can also do is to use apple cider vinegar to help clean the scalp in ways that you can use aloe vera you can apply it directly to your scalp as i mentioned you can use it as a styler for your nice twist outs or your braid outs you can also use it in your hair tea you can make an aloe vera oil as well by just cutting up the aloe vera putting in your carrier oil over medium heat and just allowing it to just infuse and you can also apply the raw aloe vera gel to your deep conditioner and you can use it as a scalp refresher the next plant that i'll be looking at is hibiscus i remember when i was young i used to love pick hibiscus plants because they're so pretty i love them like i wish i knew the benefits of hibiscus that time but it has great benefits it's full of antioxidants and one of the reasons why it's full of antioxidants is because it's full of vitamin c and other vitamins that help improve the overall health of the scalp and hair it treat dandruff that obstruct hair growth so hibiscus can be used as a hair tea rinse so you can get your hibiscus plants allow it to dry and you can brew it like any other tea that you will brew so you can get the hibiscus powder and you can use it in your deep conditioner you can use it in your oils you can get the hibiscus plant dry the petals and you can also use the hair tea as a refresher a daily refresher as well or as a leave-in okay so we're going to move on to moringa all right so moringa is a powerful plant persons use it for their health right and we also can use it for the health of our hair i know that in jamaica have a lot of moringa trees and moringa powder is easy to make guys you just need to get a fresh washed moringa leaves allow it to dry in a suitable area i've attempted it and never worked out so well but allow it to dry in a suitable area and then once it's dry you can blend it up and then when you blend it up there goes your moringa powder you can go to the extraction process with the seeds and then get the oil so if you have those tools you can always go on youtube and do it that way but for me and my house we will blend it up we'll blend it up and then add the powder to some oils and just let it allow it to infuse okay so moringa contains theocyanate i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly which strengthen hair follicles and prevents hair loss mm, wonderful moringa is a natural conditioner that promotes hair growth it contains a wide range of vitamins minerals that contribute to the health of your hair moringa can as i mentioned earlier you can use it in your favorite oil you can use it as a hair mask you can use it as a hair tea rinse as well or you can actually blend up the moringa plant add it to your deep condition and then add it to your hair but ensure to to wash out everything so we're going to move on to neem so i did not know that neem grew in jamaica so all along i remember buying neem on amazon and i wish me did just ask somebody um about it like i literally saw someone downtown selling the neem plant and he like was selling everything that he had for like hundred dollars a bag because i bought the moringa um plant from him but he had neem selling and he had a lot of different herbs selling hundred dollar bag or you can get it for per from persons because i remember someone telling me that you know they know this tree is like on public soil so you know that you can just go over there and pick it well i'm not too sure but what i'm saying is that you can get these herbs for free in jamaica just find somebody will have you find a tree 
So the neem, what neem does is that it improves blood circulation and strengthen hair roots. So it strengthens the hair from the roots. It has antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties so in essence it's going to create a suitable environment for the scalp which is going to result in hair growth it strengthens hair follicles it treats dandruff and lice i don't i don't think lice is troubling people nowadays but soothes the scalp and promotes healthy growth so a lot of wonderful thing for the neem um neem is really good i remember buy neem oil from a company neem co or i think that's the name of the company and it was really good i had in my locks and that's what i was using on my scalp and i've seen some growth it's really a good plant use it in your deep conditioner you can add it to your hair team tea rinse and if you want to make like a small neem kind of mask where you crush up the neem plant or you blend it up. If you guys want me to do a video on using how to use these different herbs um, in a DIY form, let me know in the comment section. But definitely you can use it at a hair mask. So my next herb is lemongrass, or should I say fever grass. So a lot of Jamaicans know it as fever grass. I love to drink my fever grass tea. And guess what guys, you can also use it in your hair. Mm yes baby you can use it in your hair so sometimes you can just brew some tea to drink and some tea for your hair win-win so and um, what lemongrass does is that it strengthens the hair follicles right so it strengthens the hair follicles which means that it helps with shedding and it helps to reduce breakage that means that your hair is becoming strong and healthy it helps fight hair loss so for those who are experiencing postpartum shedding you can definitely grab for your lemongrass and for those who are anemic you can definitely grab for your lemongrass as well it helps reduce excessive oil on your hair and it keeps it moisturized and shiny all the kids naturally know that they are big on their lemongrass um, collection you can use lemongrass as i said you can get the essential oil where it's concentrated and then you can use that and you can make your own diy um growth oil or you can use it in your deep conditioner or your shampoo what we're going to look at is a tuna plant some people call it single bible or is it the aloe vera plant tuna called single bible sometimes it's so confusing but you guys can just look at the picture that i'm about to show and it's also called i think the right scientific name is barbary fig i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly that's the right name so this plant is also like a game changer my mom said that growing up that's a plant that they use in their hair they didn't use the aloe vera plant that all of us are using now it is a tuna plant that they use the gel just like the aloe vera plants the gel of the plant is a moisturizer so you can use it to moisturize your hair just like aloe the tuna plant also leaves the scalp clean and healthy it soothes itching and strengthen the roots of your hair so you can also basically use a tuna plant just like the aloe the last herb that we're going to look at is gravel leaves yes gravel leaves is really good just like the lemongrass the gravel leaves strengthen your hair it helps to reduce break hedge yes and it helps with hair loss as well so you can make your gravel infused oil and you can also use it as a hair tea rinse. You can blend it up as well and you can use it as a hair mask. So thank you guys so much for coming to the end of this video. Guys, so these are the different herbs in Jamaica. So if you know about any other herbs that I haven't mentioned, please let me know in the comment section. I would definitely do my research and I'll also be doing other research as well. I also want to incorporate, want us to incorporate some other herbs in our hair regimen that don't necessarily grow in Jamaica, but we can definitely get them here in Jamaica. So that's for another video. And so guys, so as I said before, you guys are getting one month to, to gather these different ingredients, any ingredients of choice that you like. If you want to use everything, then go for it, sis. Thank you guys so much for participating. I will definitely be having another video to give my final update. So when you guys are measuring your hair, there should be no, we should not be seeing minus half an inch. Even if we don't see any growth, that's fine. We should not be seeing anything less out of what we started with.
the tip should be a part of our lives now so thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to share with a friend i'm sure that if me and you are friend and you are grow here one grow my hair too unless you guys are not not everyone are into it the hair grows as i said before it's not just a hair growth challenge it's also a healthy hair challenge and healthy hair grow so you can just keep the hair healthy and if you still want to clip it off that's up to you but ensuring that your hair is healthy is invite your sister your brother your uncle your auntie your grandma your great grand everybody your boyfriend your girlfriend everybody to just come over to subscribe and like and to continue on this journey we'll be exploring a lot of different things thank you guys so much for being patient with me as it regards to my content creation if you follow me on facebook or ig you will definitely know that i've been having phone storage issues and um, because i use my phone to record but now i've gotten some storage and your girl is very much on her way love you guys thank you so much for the support i really appreciate you guys um just keep growing glowing keep safe bye